everybody. So I just filmed um, a video of me embroidering a zipper pouch. And I did okay for my first time, but I had to um, switch the machine sideways because of how I had my phone set up for filming. Um, I probably could have done a better job, but it was my first time filming an embroidery project. Um, it's so funny. So um, in my last video, I told you about me going to Michael's to drop off that custom turtle. Well, I went down, I looked at the yarn, and I didn't buy anything. I didn't spend one dollar. That's the first time I ever went to Michael's and left there spending nothing. But I have a Christmas market next week, and I want to make some more zippered pouches, and I want to make some Christmas bags. So I went to Atlantic Fabrics, and the money that I didn't spend at Michael's, I made up for it at Atlantic Fabrics. I spent $160. <laughs> so pretty much all the money I made at my market yesterday, I just spent it again. But it's all good. So I just thought I would show you the fabrics that I bought. Um, so I needed more Nova Scotia tartan, so I got that. And then I bought some yellow for the inside of the bag. So I just got a meter of each of that. Um, yeah, so. And then um, I didn't want to get a whole lot of this fabric so I just bought some little um, little fat quarters and then I thought this would be cool for the inside of the bag and this is um, I found this in the scrap bin so I got this piece here at a discount so I thought that would go good with that and I, I like black and like white designs like for um, a lot of different things so I also want to try making those ornaments too, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so for the ornaments, I bought some of this. I thought this would be cute, um, and I, I haven't even bought the embroidery file yet to do the ornaments, so that should be fun. I might try to film that too, we'll see. Um, yeah, so I bought this for ornaments. I might do a couple of zipper pouches with this. Um, I guess I'll see how the market goes next weekend. Um, that's why I only got half a meter of that and half a meter of this. So this is kind of like the Mandalorian, I think. Um, I haven't watched it, so I don't know, but I thought this would make cute ornaments too. And I'll probably just make a few and then I'll make a few bags as well. Um, test the waters. And then I got some of this. I think I'll probably just use this for bags because um, the print's not really small enough for ornaments, I don't think. Um, I'll see what I have. Like, I think I might get some scrap pieces out of this that I can use for ornaments. Um, and then I got this one as well. So the fabric is so expensive. Like, $20 a meter. It's crazy. Um, oh, and I love this. I think, I don't know if I'll do ornaments with, with this. Like I said, I haven't bought the embroidery file yet, so, but I think this will make awesome bags. And that black and white fabric that I showed you will look really cool on the inside of this. Then I found this in the scrap bin as well, and this is like Christmas lights. So I thought that would be cool on the inside of the zippered bags. And then I got some cheapy fabric, just solid green and red for the inside of the bags as well. So I just thought I would jump on, do a little intro before I uh, attach the um, video of me making the uh, bag. And that's what I'm gonna do all day today. I'm just gonna make a bunch of zipper pouches and then I'll attach the picture of what I made at the end of the video. So just this is just a little experiment of me doing something other than uh, plushies and see if I get much traction on it. So 
I'll attach the video and um, then I'll show the pictures. So thank you for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Hi, everybody. It's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. Um, I thought it would be fun just to jump on and I'm going to make a zipper bag and film it and do an embroidery video for the first time. I just thought it would be fun. Um, so um, I have a lot of Christmas markets coming up and I live in Nova Scotia. So I'm going to make a zipper pouch out of Nova Scotia tartan. And then I have this fabric which is lobsters and lighthouses which is really popular here in Nova Scotia so I have um, a royal blue nylon zipper I have navy thread on my machine and I already have a piece of cutaway stabilizer hooped and on the machine and my machine is already loaded with the design um, so I'm just gonna do the first step which is the outline for the bag and the where to like tack down my zipper so I'm gonna run that and I'm not sure how loud this is gonna be um, so we'll see like I said this is my first time making a video running my machine but I just wanted to show you how quick and easy these bags are um, and I have a lot of market prep to do because I have a Christmas market next weekend so let's get started So that is step one. There's nine steps to this bag. Um, I don't know if you can see that right over here. Um, so it shows the design and I'm on step two of nine. Um, so it just ran the tack down for my uh, zipper. So I don't even take the, I don't even take this off the machine. I, and I'm gonna find this awkward because I, the way I have my machine set up and my phone set up, the machine is on an angle to me. So. I might find this a little awkward to be filming because I'm used to having the machine turned the other way. But I just take some masking tape and I'm just gonna tack down my zipper in place and then I'm gonna run the next step. So if I get in the way, I apologize, but this is the only way I know how to do it. It's a little off so I'm gonna take another piece of tape it's just because the machine is sideways so I'm just gonna put a little piece in the middle and then I'm gonna run the next step And from start to finish on my machine, it's telling me that it's like a five minute run. But all the steps that you have to do in between takes longer. So I'm going to just angle my phone down here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just taking off my tape. And I like to, this is what I do. Um, this is what works for me. 
So I just have a little seam ripper and I'm just going to go in and then close the zipper back up, flip this over, and I like to cut the backing away from the zipper piece. And then cut off any little thread stragglers. Okay. So the next thing is I have my Nova Scotia tartan and I didn't even measure this. It's just I've made so many of them that um, I just kind of know what size to make. But anyway, I already folded over. I have my fusible um, stabilizer. Um, I already ironed that on and then I fold over my fabric and iron it. So you get a good seam. But the next step, it's going to sew your front piece on and then it's going to tack down the liner, which I also added the um, stabilizer to. So this piece, it's going to, so you want this so that when it's folded down, So you, you're going to put it upside down because it's going to tack this down and then you're going to fold this down. So you want to make sure your designs go in the right way. Okay, so I'm just going to tack this down. And I could have had this piece of fabric a little bit wider. It's fine because you're going to cut around it later. So I like to put this on like this. And I'm struggling because the machine, it's, it's set up a little bit differently. So I'm gonna put that back there like that. So I got my fabric um, taped in place. And then your, where you've folded it over, you want that next to your zipper. Whoops, nope, I didn't wanna start it. Okay, that could have been a disaster. Okay, so you want to put your fabric right next to your zipper line, okay? Okay, so I just kind of hold it in place. Why is my green light not on? Oh, it was off the screen. So now I got to fast forward to step three. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I must have hit that button by mistake. So anyway, I'm just gonna hold this in place and then it's gonna tack down my fabric and tack down this piece here. And I just hold it in place. Probably not a safe decision, but that's what I do. Okay. So, then I take it back off the machine. Okay. Sorry, I got to keep angling my phone up and down, but I want you guys to see what I'm doing. So then I just cut my little stragglers. So now you want to flip this over. And you want to fold this piece down. So then I just, I tape it. I tape it back down in place. Then you put this back on the machine. And again, this is, I'm not used to embroidering this way. So I can't really see that well. Okay. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be doing too many embroidery videos, that's for sure. Okay, so I got that snapped up. So 
So the next step it's going to do is it's going to tack down this piece and then it's going to tack down the liner piece as well. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure my fabric is flat. Okay, and then it's going to sew the next step, which is step four. So this got a little bit of a pucker in it because I think it's just because I can't really watch the machine and get the fabric out of the way because I have the machine sideways to what I'm used to. So I'm going to rerun the step and I'll be back. Okay, so I just reran that step and I'm going to fast forward it one because I always skip that one. because. Um, it's just going to do a tack down for a little tab that I don't put on my um, bags. So the next thing I'm going to do is add my other piece of Nova Scotia tartan and I'm going to flip it upside down and put that over the whole thing. Oh, the first thing you want to do before you do that is open your zipper. Actually, I'm going to start it and stop it right quick because I don't want my zipper to catch. Okay. So then you open your zipper because if you don't open your zipper, you will not be able to flip your bag inside out later. Okay, so then you just put your other piece of fabric Oh my gosh, this is so hard to do with the machine. The, the other way, I'm not used to this, okay. So you just wanna make sure that it's gonna cover the whole thing. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit start. And you probably shouldn't have your fingers near the machine. Probably not a good idea. But, um, like sometimes I'll use a bone folder because you want your material to stay flat, right? I feel like I'm going to get a pucker. Which I hope I don't, but... But, like I said, it's my first time doing this. Well, first time trying to film. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it down here so you can see what I'm doing. So the last step is you have to add your back liner. So you got to cover up the whole piece. And I always tape this down. Okay. 
then what it's going to do is it's not going to do from here. It's going to skip a bottom piece of the bag so you can turn it inside out. And then I have some fusible glue and that's what I use to sew up the hole in the liner. Yeah, I don't know if this bag's going to be salvageable. It's just because of how I have the machine set up. I'll have to figure out a different way to angle my camera. Okay, so finished embroidery. Four, it's a four minute design, but because of all the steps you have to do, it ends up being a little bit longer. So let me flip my camera around this way and take this out of the hoop. Remove all your tape. So where you have your liner, I like to make cuts like this, like that. And then I take my zigzag uh, shears, pinking shears, and then I just cut that off, like that. And then I fold this up out of the way and then I cut around the whole design and then I trim my zipper because I leave my zipper a little long on the edges but once you get the hang of this it's pretty quick to pump these out okay now then I just, because I don't want to cut my zipper, zipper too close to the, so this is how I do it. And I like to use the pinking shears because I don't want my fabric to fray. So I can trim this a little bit closer. Because you don't want a lot of bulk when you flip this inside out. Okay, so that's all garbage. Oh, I had a market yesterday and my back is killing me. Okay. I like to take a lighter and just fray the edges of my zipper. Actually, I could probably trim that a little bit closer. Because you don't want your zipper to fray. Okay, so. Then, you just flip your bag inside out. Like this. And then you're actually looking at the inside of the bag, not the outside. And then I open this all the way. And then I just trim off any little thread stragglers. Okay. 
So then I tuck this in. like that and then I take my fusible and that's all you need is just this little piece here so I'm going to tuck this in here and then I'm going to go over to my ironing board and I'm going to iron this together and it's going it's going to glue that hole shut so I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back okay so I just took my iron and I ran over that so that melted the fusible mesh stuff and then you just flip your bag inside out There's another little thread straggler. And there is your little zippered pouch. So they don't take that long to make it all. So you can play with your fabric, your zipper colors, your line, not lining fabric, and you can have a lot of fun. Easy peasy. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great day. Oh, this design is, um, it, uh, it's Cute Things by Rebecca. And I will link her store in the description below. And this is her Luna bag design. And she has a few different sizes. This is the snack size, which you can put a gift card in here which is perfect for Christmas, which is upcoming. So her shop is amazing, go check her out. Thank you, have a great day everybody, bye.